Providence is not just a moon lord counterpart or a sun god. She is a being of elevating light and corrupting twilight, as she consists of both the light and the dark magic, yet denying both. She is a limbo between both forces. Providence embodies the concept of denial of good and evil, not just a boring powerful sun god. During the ancient conflict between angels and devils, the colossal impact from the heat and mana usage of light and dark magic formed into a crystal. The crystal was conscious, it has a mind of its own. This crystal is Providence. Providence felt good and evil, the desires of the world, both for ill intent and to live. She was disgusted by it, held in limbo between both the light and the dark force. She began to take form of its own, a shell of stone, her wings made from blazes of battles. Anything her flame swept across was cleansed, purified, and reduced to impartial ash. In life and death there are vice and virtue. In purity where nothing lives and nothing dies, neither sin exists. That is her objective, a world cleansed of desire. However, in the devour of gods and its servant's search to consume providence to gain her power, she knows her deeds to cleanse the world is too risky and makes her easy to get caught and defeated. Thus, Providence stays in the center of the sun, gathering power from the energy of the sun. It is there that she waits, to one day be able to descend upon the earth, consuming all in a purifying flame. Nothing would be able to withstand the heat of the goddess. She would leave nothing but an uncanny, sinless world behind. However, if someone were able to grasp one of her relics, a substantial core of her power, it would surely incite her wrath. She would descend onto the land prematurely, not having gathered enough energy, nor with her relic properly harnessed, leaving her weak. A skilled enough opponent could potentially destroy her in battle to save the fate of the world from being consumed by Providence flames. Providence is basically neither good nor evil. She thinks what she's doing is good even though we know it's horrible. Providence wants sin to be cleansed from the world, which is a good thing, yet her execution and the way she does it is terribly cruel and horrible. What do you guys think of Providence actions? Do you think it's good or bad? Let me know in the comment section. And let me know if you guys want more lore videos like this. Thank you for watching and see ya.